Hi everyone, I'm Tracy Stadler. I'm the um, program coordinator for our outpatient diabetes self-management and education program. And I'm Amanda Cheney. I'm the certified diabetes nurse educator at Magruder. And we are joining you a little differently this year and we miss all of you. Normally we do our seasonal gathering or in the past it's been called um, Celebrating the Seasons. And this year it's gonna look a little different. We're gonna have two short segments on here, just kind of talking about some holiday tips and we have some recipes that we have for you. And when we are all finished and by the time you're going to see this on a link on our website, you will also be able to download the, download the recipes that we have for you and also also our Navigating the Holidays um, handout with some good tips um, to get you through these next several weeks. So let's start. All How right. Let me start this, Amanda. All right. So really, the main goal that you should have during the holidays is to maintain your blood sugars while you're still enjoying your gatherings. Um, so as Tracy likes to say, aim to maintain. Although our gatherings are going to look a little different. Yes. We know yes. that. Um, I, so many people think, oh, I just want to lose some weight. And I just really feel strongly about the aim to maintain, like Amanda said. You know what? If you end up losing a couple pounds, sweet, icing on the cake. But at least at this point, let's just aim to maintain because, you know, you've got Thanksgiving, you've, you've got, got Christmas. Christmas. Mm -hmm. Those are two days. If it, let's count New Year's in there. Three days. That's three all days. it is. Three days. But a lot of times we like to take maybe the day before Thanksgiving, and extend that all the way to New Year's Day, as if every day is that holiday, and the food can be a little overwhelming. So Amanda has put together a nice handout for you with some tips to help you on those in-between days. Yes. So, you know, as Tracy said, our gatherings are gonna look a little different, um, but, you know, you still might get together and you still might have some holiday parties to attend, or maybe you're just feeling festive and you want to have some festive type foods. Um, you're right. And, and those festive foods are awesome. And what I like to remember is when I'm at a gathering, it doesn't matter how large, how small, a lot of things that I try and remind myself is that, you know, Amanda, we can have mashed potatoes any old day of the year, right? Yes. Yes. So what, what's something that you only get once or twice a year? Oh, well, maybe it's like Uncle Bill's pumpkin pie, his famous pumpkin pie. Right. So these are the days that you're going to enjoy the things that you don't normally have. Again, three days, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. Enjoy those days. On those in-between days, we want you to be smart. Yes. We want you to stay active. Yes. We want you to have a snack before you attend a gathering so you're not so starved that you want to eat everything in sight. When you get to the gathering, take a look at all the food that, that you have. You know, peruse that, that table. table. Peruse the table. See what's available before you start filling your plate. You know, um, choose those non-starchy vegetables, you know, broccoli, green beans, cauliflower. Choose things that aren't, you know, loaded with cream sauces. Yeah, you think of the those heavier foods. Yeah. You know, you may have that on, on your plate when you make it, but if you're still hungry and you want to go back, mm -hmm. you may want to choose those foods that aren't as heavy. Or like Amanda said, those, those non-starchy veggies, you know, green beans, cauliflower, broccoli, celery, those types of things. Great fillers, but not going to affect the blood sugar as much. Right, right. And then always have a plan. You know, just before you go, make a plan and stick to it. And don't sway from that plan. Um, you know, and then after the gathering, be active. Like Tracy was saying, you know, you want to be more active. So maybe go for a walk after your meal. Um, drink more water if, you know, as long as you don't have a fluid restriction. Exactly. And like you said, take weather permitting, it's an awesome time. You're with your family. You know, you, you have your meal. Go out. And if the weather is beautiful, just go out. Get some fresh air. Get some steps in. Absolutely. Trust me, you're going to feel a lot better later when <laughs> you did it. Rather than eating and going and plopping down on the couch and seeing what's on TV. Right. Right. You know? So, so aim to do that. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, you know what else? Don't forget about those Christmas cookies. You know? Um, yeah. yeah. They're good. They're yeah. really good. Um... <laughs> Be smart. No, we're not saying you can't have them. You can definitely have them. 
maybe just only 10 of them at one time. Right. What do you think? And so the big thing, oh, well, I don't think 10 cookies at a time is ever, ever good. But the, the main thing. It could is, taste good, though. Could. It could. It could. So yes. just do your best. But, and here's the thing, guys. If you maybe do have 10 cookies, you know, have grace for yourself. If you do maybe have that moment of weakness and you have, you know, 10 cookies, whatever, have grace for yourself. Move on and don't make it, well, I already messed up this day. I'm just going to continue to mess up for the rest of the day, right? Or mess up this meal. I'm going to continue to just get yourself back on track and keep moving forward. Always remember, every one of us is human. Amanda and I, we're just as human as you. We love those cookies. We love all those holiday foods. We love gatherings. We love getting together and enjoying those things. No one's saying we can't do them. Just use good judgment. Yes. You know? Yep. Just be smart. Do yep. the best you can. And certainly don't beat yourself up if you no. feel you've overdone it. Yes. Tomorrow's another day. Absolutely. Absolutely. And with that being said... We would like to tell you once again how much we miss you. We miss seeing everyone, but we're going to see you soon. Don't worry. We're going to get past all this. We'll be together again. Hopefully next year we will have our regular in-person program with our delicious meal. However, right now what we're going to do is make sure that you remember we do have this handout. It's called Navigating the Holidays. This will be available one by the time you're seeing this on our website. This will be available for you to download. Hopefully, these are some really good tips that will help you manage all those days starting next week through the end of December. Okay. Um, always remember, we are here for you. Please call us if you need anything. Um, if we're not in the office, leave us a message. We'll definitely get back to you. We'd love to hear from you. Join us for our next session when we go over several recipes that we have put together. Amanda's done a lot of work on these recipes, and we think you're really going to enjoy them, and they're going to really spice up and spruce up those holiday eating parties, okay? So thank you so much. Stay well, and we will see you soon.